you have to plant new seeds of closure in order to have growth. That that's what I feel like the energy is playing out here for you. Okay, you uh, you're having to be the one to do it, but we've got you know, but you're you're like ready to get into another relationship and start over, but you're not pursuing anything with anybody. Okay. Hmm. Secrets again. Virgo, I have to tell you, I feel like um, somebody is, you are temporarily separated from somebody and there's an energy of like both people are in separation. They don't know why. Not fully. Like you, you know why, but you don't know why something went the way it went. And another person, it's the same energy. And I feel like for you, Virgo, I feel like you're really just trying to erase everything. You're trying to erase the past um, so that you can move on. But I I feel like this, this, the reason, why is my thinking? The reason why you're having this struggle to do that is because you're trying to erase it as if it didn't exist um, and just put it out of your mind constantly. But you're not going to heal that way. Um, Primarily because the only way you're going to heal that past energy is if you accept it. You are struggling to accept something that you have no answer to. And the more you seek the answer, the more confused you get. And then the more confused you get, the more you spiral and then you're lost and then you don't know what to do. And then you ju just try to erase it completely. And that way you don't have to worry about it, right? Sorry, I'm trying to get my light on here. Um, I feel like what this, the problem is, if you want to heal, you have to accept the situation. You have to accept that you don't may not have an answer. Or you have to accept that you got an answer and you don't know why something went the way it did. But that's your answer. That's the answer, right? In order for you to be able to move into a new relationship with someone, because I feel like, remember I said to you, I don't know why you're not, um, why you're making somebody else do something. Um, I feel it's because there's a fear because you don't want something, you don't want to get hurt again, I guess. Is that's the word spirit's giving me. But what I have to say to you, Virgo, is partnership requires two people okay to work independently and then interdependently with each other okay um if you're in a position of needing to make i mean yeah show up in your bloody stumps fine but we have to both be in agreement that we're going to work on this partnership together right and if you're um in a position where you know you you, you not only need someone to show up on their bloody stumps but you need them to walk around like that um, for the rest of their life or time in the partnership with you, that's probably not going to work. At some point, you're going to have to forgive. At some point, you're going to have to forget, um, accept, forgive, and forget. Um, not to forget so that you um, make yourself vulnerable to the point where you could get hurt again, but forget past transgressions because that's just grudge holding. That's what, the, that's what's meant by that. At least from my understanding, when we say forgive and forget, it means I forgive you and I will forget the grievance. I don't forget what happened, but I forget the grievance because holding a grudge will only be cancer to your soul. Holding a grudge against somebody else is equivalent of drinking poison and hoping the other person will die from it. It's senseless. It makes no sense to hold a grudge, right? So I don't know why spirit is giving me all this information to share with you here, but it's very deep and psychological. So I do feel like we've got two people here. Um, and, and I feel like there, there's love is love is definitely on the horizon for you. Um, but I feel like it's really not going to come fully until you can get into a position of what I was just talking about. Um, accepting the situation, forgiving and forgetting the grievance and moving on, okay, for love to blossom in your life. If not, you're, you're still, you could still be replaying those old tapes subconsciously. And you know, it, unless you bring your subconscious to the forefront, it's always going to direct your every move and your every path. So it's really important to get deep in there and bring your subconscious to the forefront because a lot of time it's the subconscious that is dictating 
the natural flow of things versus the conscious, which makes clear and precise decisions. Okay. Healing starts underneath, not on the surface, right? Let me see. What else do we have here? Okay. Four of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Hmm. There's a desire here for someone to really get out there and enjoy and be enthusiastic, but there's a holding back energy at the same time. Okay. Yep. Lack of intuition, lack of being able to trust the self. It's there, it's there, but it's, it's very immature energy, okay? It's kind of like, what is my intuition? What is it saying? What does it mean? What does it want? Um, trying to really hear it and balance it and temper it. I feel like you're kind of in this position, Virgo, where you... You know, you want to get out there and, and really live your life and enjoy and feel enthused and feel happy about what you want to do um, as far as your plans and things like that in your life. But I also feel like at the same time, you're blocking that from happening because, and I'm not sitting in a position to judge, it just feels like you're not sure yet what it is that you want and what direction you want to go with your life you know um it's almost as if i don't deserve to be happy in some way um even though like consciously you know you do somewhere deep down you might block that or really don't believe that right and that's why the empress was there to tell you to um be in your abundance Tell yourself, remind yourself that you deserve to be happy. You deserve to go out and have fun. Um, some of you might just be feeling at times that you're too old to be having fun. <laughs> um, uh, maybe you were with someone that was extremely immature and um, you wanted them to be a bit more grown up. And in some strange way, their immaturity might have been refreshing because you had the opportunity to feel like a kid. So now you don't want to go back to that. In other words, you don't want to, now you might be seeing as having fun and being playful. Um, okay. They just said you were playful before and careless and enthusiastic. And when you met someone and that relationship, didn't go well it didn't work out or something happened and you're saying to yourself not all of you but some of you might be saying to yourself well if I'd been more mature things wouldn't have fallen apart or if they had been more mature things wouldn't have fallen apart so now there's this anti-maturity thing you know or no that's not the word anti-immaturity thing Virgo forget that shit get out there I don't care how old you are go out and enjoy your life and have fun a relationship not working out is because the relationship didn't work out. It just didn't work out. That's it. It just didn't work out. Not every single relationship you get in is going to work out. You should definitely get out there and live and be happy and enjoy your life. Okay? That's what I feel like because those, those, you might be just thinking too much or you're just like, well, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what direction I want to go. I don't know where I want to have my fun. I feel like you, you, um, I feel like you're tied in too deeply to, um, I feel like you got lost somewhere along the line. So my advice here, um, maybe go down to the park and just get on the seesaw for like an hour. Um, I feel like you need to get out of your analytical thinking um, and get out of that rabbit hole. I feel like you need to um, get yourself um, expose yourself to more, to some fun, whatever that might be, however minimal that might be. I don't care if you just want to go fly a kite, something very simple to get yourself reacclimated because I feel like things in the past were very, very serious or got very serious for you. And, um, you were just too, your mind was too involved. Okay. Page of wands is here to tell you forget about thinking, just go out and do, okay? Just make your plan, whatever you want to do to go have fun and just get out there and do it, okay? Page of Wands doesn't think about it. <laughs> 
just this enthusiastic like a child and just goes. Um, all right, let me see what else is going on here for you. All right, so you have your eight of pentacles. Yep, clarity coming. You work too much, Virgo. <laughs> and, hey, I'm a Virgo. It's Trust me when I tell you, it's not me. I don't work all that much. But when I do work, I'm very intense with my work. And I feel like maybe that's something here. You're, you're very good, Virgo, at your day-to-day. -day. You're, you're very good. You're very successful. Um, you have many victories in your life. And you will continue to have victories in the career sector. But I feel like for you, uh, career finances, you really need to put that aside this week. And really just go out and have a good time with whatever you're doing. If you're traveling, you're spending time with family and friends. You just need to give yourself a day off or a break, I feel. But we're talking about love here. So the person, so I don't know. I, I'm not so sure that there's somebody here coming back into your life. Okay. Because I don't feel like somebody coming back... Well, we do have a reunion here. So it is possible. Um, I'm not so sure... Uh, like, this person may try to reattempt to re-engage with you. But I don't necessarily feel like you're, you're going to even realize it. Because I, for some reason, I feel like you're, you're not going to be paying attention. Uh, I don't know what that means. Or you're not going to see something, somebody trying to engage with you, re-engage with you, you're not going to see it. I feel like your mind is focused somewhere else during this time period here, from the 15th to the 22nd. Your mind is just elsewhere, and you're going to miss something. Mm. Yeah, I feel like um, there's an energy here of um, somebody, okay, they're just saying... There's a Virgo here who doesn't want to see something, doesn't want to see something, um, doesn't want to see someone trying to re-engage with them. I don't know. Is that you? Is that one of you here? Some. I, I'm just feeling like a real hesitancy. Boundaries up. Um, walls up. Not trying to re-engage with anyone. Dukes up. Okay. But I do feel like somebody is going to try to re-engage here with you. But why? Oh, to bring peace and balance and harmony and positive vibes and sunshine and joy and success back into a relationship. Okay. Hmm. Well, you know, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I mean, all the signs are here in these readings. I do feel like there will be some kind of like an attempt to re-engage. Somebody... Because there's a ghosting energy, and I feel like somebody wants to make something right here. I'm not so sure, though, how, you know, you're still going through your change here, okay? Um, we have Libra energy here. Um, there's ghosting, definitely, and um, somebody wants to come in and um, make something right as far as a lack of commitment in a past type of connection, okay? Huh, boy, Virgo. Okay, yep, you're just going to be like, yep, yeah, but I got left out in the cold. So um, uh, this is not something I feel like you're going to respond to with jovial glee and happy and that kind of thing. I feel like you're going to be a bit hesitant, but, you know, it's cold back there. I don't know if I want to go back to that cold weather, you know. We got sunshine. Somebody's trying to bring you sunshine. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 no. Virgo, it's not cold. It's not cold. Look, it's sunny. It's sunny. Here. Here's some sun. You know, I don't know, Virgo. You're very hesitant. Like I said, you're very hesitant. You you really do want to have um, like a, a good deep partnership with someone where two people come together. Um, and I do foresee that like in the last reading, I said there is going to be somebody new coming into your life, especially at the end of April here. Um but you're like, you're betwixt and between in, in some ways because I feel like somebody comes in who really knows what they want and they will pursue you. Um, and I feel like it's going to make you happy, but you haven't let go of that past person because you haven't accepted it fully and you have to. You have to accept that 
even not getting an answer is the answer okay but this person is going to try to be coming back in but i don't feel like it's going to trip you up because i don't know that you're going to see their um re-engagement for some reason why isn't virgo going to see this re-engagement oh because this person is going to come in very sly um hmm yeah through like a back door that you're not even going to think to notice slipping into your house no, i don't mean that um something gets sent so it feels like there's some type of um communication of some sort um hmm, okay they just said you're gonna you're going to okay this is really far out you're gonna get some kind of telepathic message from someone where you're like where did that come from okay i don't know that's not going to resonate for everyone but some of you here do have that capability and i feel like some of you are going to get some kind of telepathic message and for others there's some type of communication that's going to come through in some strange way um that you won't be familiar with and therefore you will miss it okay and you're gonna miss it i feel like because you're struggling with your you're struggling with your own stuff okay you're too wrapped up in your head your anxieties are taking over okay hmm so we have Sagittarius showing up here in Taurus. Um, yeah, there's definitely somebody coming in to re, um, reconcile with you. Definitely. I, I, don't, I feel like you're going to miss it. You're going to just be... Look at how he's walking, okay? Like, he can't see anything over here. He's looking down. His eyes are kind of closed. Everything is blocking here, you know? Um, I feel like you're going to miss... There's communication coming in. If you want to have reconciliation with someone, then you're going to have to keep your eyes peeled because I don't feel like someone's going to come in and be very direct with you about trying to reconnect with you in some way, you know? Um, but as far as, like, the new love comes in, I feel like this is completely separate. I do want to ask how you're going to meet this new person, Okay, so we want to take a look and see how are you going to meet this new person. Hold on a second. I want to get a different deck. How is Virgo going to meet this new person coming in? Virgo's new person. How is Virgo going to meet? In what way is Virgo going to meet this new person coming in? You guys, if there's like a... um. A sound like um, a staticky sound in the video I, I've noticed some people have complained about that and I've, I've listened back a couple times and I've heard it I think that my uh, microphone was way too close to my laptop so right now as I'm recording this I can't tell if it's staticky but if it is please be patient with me as I'm trying to um, sort that out and my apologies if it's too staticky I'll try to, um, when, I, when I edit the video, try to reduce the background sound. Okay, how is Virgo going to meet their new person? Okay. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Okay. They're just saying... Now, now let me get there's a couple messages here um number one the first message is some of you are going to meet this new person at a um child's sporting event or game okay um a child doesn't it, it would mean um offspring <laughs> whatever age a child is it, it, it doesn't matter um it's just one of your if you have children it could be a niece or a nephew as well or cousin or grandchild you know it's just somebody way like way younger than you okay at some type of an event um some type of game uh something where someone receives like a trophy or an award of some sort it could be a graduation as well um, because there's a victory here um, 
some type of um, like an like an award or a ceremony or where someone receives maybe it could be college or some type of any kind of graduation ceremony that's where I feel like some of you are going to meet this person okay um, let me see is there another message for the other group of Virgos where they're going to meet their person huh okay uh, they just screamed out to me veterinary school <laughs> I don't even know where that's coming from. Veterinary school. Okay. <laughs> um, or it's something to do with animals. So it could be like apprenticeship, working in um, a shelter. Okay. Um, hold on. Um, they're giving me... Training um, is, is something to do with animals. I keep hearing this animal thing. I can't help it. Oh, okay, for others. Okay, so for others, this is um, either training. It's training, strength training. They're telling me um, in a, so I guess wherever strength training is done, I guess a gym, fitness type of situation, maybe meeting someone at a gym or a fitness trainer, something like that, okay? Um, because we do have strength and we do have training here. Um, and we do have the king of wands and the queen of wands. So for some of you, it's going to be a fire sign that you're going to be connecting with. I know some of you be like, but my past person was that. Well, you know, what it is what it is. So, yeah, okay something to do with animals and i'm also hearing they're they're telling me strength training okay oh my light went out sorry about that um okay so those are your two uh, your two ways okay um so the way it works is you're either going to meet your person at one of them or the other or you won't meet them and this isn't your reading okay so it's kind of up in the air let's get some love messages here for you virgo what are the love messages for Virgo from April 15th through the 22nd? April 15th through the 22nd for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let me see. Okay. You deserve love. You are lovable. Virgo, I feel like I keep telling you that or I tell you that every day or every time we do a reading here. Um, there's a Sagittarius who wants you to know that you deserve love and you're lovable as well. Um, healing family issues, very important message during this week. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, forgive and forget, move on from it. Move on from the parent thing. Move on. Okay, let them go. Let it go. You are, you have agency. You are your free, per, you are your own person. You're free to do as you please. Um, people are going to act the way they act. Let it just take this week with a grain of salt. Virgo, I feel like your message, no matter what happens, no matter what's going on, just let stuff, just be Jerry Seinfeld. Just let stuff roll off your back. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be Jerry Seinfeld, but I mean, just in that type of energy where it's like, don't be George Costanza. Don't be out here with the, oh my God, nothing's working out. No, just let shit flow. Let it flow. Just let it go. Let things go. Okay. Healing family issues, sometimes healing family issues is just basically letting your family be who they are, letting people just be who they are and just acknowledging that and, you know, instead of trying to change people or letting your, your people or your, whoever you call your family, your soul tribe or whatever, trying to change you, um, no, it's basically just saying, okay, I see your thought process, I see how you are. I see these are your beliefs. I see these these are your actions. That's you. That's not me. Enjoy. You know, uh, just let people. Acceptance is key. I feel like in this whole reading. What else? Okay, this could be the one. So you're gonna be meeting the one. You are meeting the one, Virgo. You've all and for some of you, you've already met this person. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Okay, some of you might even know who this person is if you haven't. So that's what I was going to say. It's either the one 
of the two, two or three scenarios that I gave you, or it's not your reading, or you already know who they are, okay? You've already met them. And some of you can clarify that in the comments or in the chat. Okay, children, your love life is being affected by children, okay? So some of you, like I was saying, you could meet somebody somewhere connected to a child or children. Let your friends help you, okay? So this is seeking support from people who are very close to you or your friends or your, your real true soul tribe who accepts you, um, allow them to give you a lift, pat on the back once in a while. You don't have to take on the whole world by yourself, Virgo. Accept the appreciation, okay, yes, this, your soulmate is coming in here, thank God. We don't want any twin in separation, we don't want any struggles, we're just, Virgo, You've got a soulmate energy playing out here for you. Um, you're going to meet your soulmate in this time period. I feel it so very strongly. And they might be not what you expect. They could be a little bit different than what you would expect, okay? Which is perfectly fine, you know? Um, and so when I say that, I mean, uh, you guys could be... Um, there, there could be some misalignment so in in the way but yet you get you souls meeting souls you know what i mean it, i don't feel there'll be a struggle i just feel there'll be a recognition of differences but also a recognition of a lot more similarities okay let me see what are your okay healing heart this is what we were talking about healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationships or addiction okay so really again what the healing is is just forgiveness and letting things go it's just acceptance here you also have lightning sudden changes shocking news surprise epiphanies upheaval and transformation so this is some tower energy which is like building back better again in your life getting yourself in a position where you know what every whatever's fallen down has fallen down let it fall let the chips fall where they may okay so then you can get back in there and start rebuilding again okay so definitely a tower moment coming for you and look beautiful you have the phoenix a new phase rekindling renewing transforming growth and a changed mind so very beautiful energy okay the phoenix is rising this is always about ascension it's always about ascension and usually you know when we get these cards they can be kind of difficult sometimes but i feel it's funny how the cards tend to tie in with the reading the way that they do i love it all right let me get a couple of other messages here for you from my um moon pie tarot deck which is the link is also below if you would like to purchase this deck i will show it to you in just a moment okay I have a video out for this as well okay this is my other channel moon pie tarot if you're new and you don't know me um, i have another youtube channel i haven't been on it as much but this is the deck i am moon pie and that's the deck that i've created okay first card out regret okay somebody has regret i feel like we said that in the very beginning somebody had regret about a situation um, a loss, remorse, that's a five of cups energy, um, some grief, feeling abandoned or feeling unloved, not feeling like there's anything good. There's just like, oh, kicking myself in the pants. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay. Victory, recognition, and applause is coming for you. Okay. Um, I feel like you're going to get recognized. <sighs> Virgo, it feels like, I don't know exactly what this is about or who it's for or who it relates to, but I feel like um, <clears throat> if there was a situation in the past where something didn't work out, remember I was saying there was a lack of closure, I feel like um, at some point somebody's going to recognize you and in some way um give you a sense of like closure like in other words what you didn't get at some point you are going to get somebody i feel like is going to say to you, you know i i regret everything that i did it was my you know i take a responsibility for my role in things um if you were with someone that was blaming you for everything or just left you on red and you just they ghosted you or just disappeared and you didn't know what was going on and if you took 
look, the struggle is over. If you took that upon yourself um, and started blaming yourself, um, no, you're going to come in and get recognition for all the good that you did in a connection. Okay, everything that um, you're going to get appreciation. Uh, it's going to be a relief. I feel like there's so much healing during this week happening here. Uh, past relationships healing, um, an, an opportunity for closure, an opportunity for you to plant seeds and create your own growth and closure as well, and, and an opportunity to move forward in your life. I mean, honestly here with the struggle, this, this struggle is over. It's ending this week. Whatever you're going through, and I, I don't mean like, I mean, you're going to feel it, Virgo. I feel it like Spirit's giving me this image of like somebody reaching down and pulling that boulder off your back. You know, you're going to feel that, you know, when you get a new haircut where you just feel lighter. It's weird. I, when I wash my car, I always feel like my car runs better. And it's kind of like a cleanse, you know, a, a cleansing, um, the, the weight lifting off your shoulders. So whatever area in your life, a reprieve, an opportunity to just exhale and relax and have fun. The struggle is coming to an end here. Okay, you've got direct, honest female here. So you've got somebody, I feel, who's going to be uh, very truthful with you during this week. What is she saying here? Okay, she's saying that you did good. Um, she's also going to tell you somebody, somebody could be trying to... Okay, if this is related to a family situation during this time period... Um, there's, I feel like you're going to have someone who's on your side in some ways that says to you, they're just testing you. You know that. They're just testing your boundaries. Uh, she's on your side, uh, this direct honest, honest female. Um, she's not giving you problems. She's on your side and she's helping you through. Um, people who are testing your patience or trying to trigger you or get you to react to something. She's going to say to you, you know they're just testing you, right? You know that don't react don't let them trigger you um they want to see what you're made of and i feel like it's a really strong message for you virgo to just kind of be like hmm okay so you're saying that if i react to them then they are happy and they get what they want and then i'm weak and she's going to say yes that's exactly what they're going to do and um just all you she wants you to know that when that when you're being tested um because it would please other people to see you. Um, like it gives them an ego boost. The message here for you is just say no thanks or not interested. <laughs> you know? Okay. Reflect. That's what she's saying. Don't react. Go within. Go into that mind's that cave. Regroup. Recollect. A lot is going on. You may need some alone time. Stay in the stillness and the quiet, but don't get lost. Tell people you're taking a vacay or you're taking a break and you're just pulling out a bit. So if anybody tries to test your faith or your boundaries this time, you can go within and just excuse yourself. Just don't react to anything. I don't know what this message is or what's coming through here for you or what the deal is, Virgo, but I feel like... This is just a very strong message for you. Um, uh, somebody here needs to hear it during this week. Let me get, you know what we like to do, our Chinese signs. So let's see what Chinese signs you could be interacting with during this week. Or if this is you. Okay. So year of the rat. Year of the snake. Oh, we've got year of the pig. Year of the Rabbit, and that's the snake again, double snake. Got Year of the Horse, Year of the Tiger, which is actually the, the Chinese year we're in right now. Okay, Year of the Dog, and Year of the Ox, okay? If I didn't call your name or your sign, or it's not your person's sign, don't worry about it, okay? It just means that it's specifically also specifically for somebody else here okay so let's take a look and see what your charms your charm messages are here oh
Okay, one sec, you guys. One sec. We're going to look at dates and signs that could be um, significant to you during this time period. Okay. Okay, we have Aries, Cancer, Taurus, twice. Um, so, birth dates, September 27th, September 28th, um, September 2nd, September 7th, September 8th, September 11th. Okay. I'm sorry. When I said the September 26th, 27th, I said, or the 28th, I meant to say... Um, well, for some of you, it could be. It could be connecting with someone, but I meant to say August. Okay. Okay. So, again, Aries. Again, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Um, I'm also picking up the birthday in 1978. I'm picking up 1976, 1979, um, 19... 67 1969 we're also getting um and if i say repeat birth dates just you know i'm just repeating your birth date okay and that's a specific message so september 6th the 7th the 9th and again the 11th okay let's try again Okay, Capricorn is here. Hello, Capricorn. Welcome back. We have Taurus, Leo, Virgo. Okay, so they're giving me September 3rd, the 12th. We're giving me, uh, they're giving me September 5th. Somebody is either 55 or was born in 1955. Um, somebody's also either 53 or 35. Okay. And one more. Okay, Capricorn is back again. Taurus, Taurus always shows up in your readings. So I don't know what's going on. We have Gemini. Okay, we have September 6th. Again, now we have the 7th and the 8th. We also have September 5th. Um, Also, September 15th, the 19th, the 18th, and the 17th. Okay. And, yeah, I think that's it. Now, let me just get a couple of charms. So, if those messages or those dates or signs resonated for you, that's definitely a reading for you. Okay. Let's see what other charm messages you have here, Virgo. Okay, you have a bone, you have a dolphin. Okay, flower petal. That would be... Okay, uh, it's a flower that starts with a P. That's what I'm getting. Also, there's a teddy bear here. Okay. Okay. Um, bone fish or fish bone? I'm hearing um, and I'm, I'm just seeing like beautiful I don't know if they're peonies or petunias or uh, like some pastel flowers um, that I'm picking up with like um, maybe there's a, a teddy bear or a bunny stuffed animal um, in a bouquet of flowers being given also I'm also seeing um, those my goodness, somebody's grandmother used to have those rubber pastel uh, things that you put on the, the, the floor of a bathtub so that you didn't slip. They were like non-slip stickers, but they just said, they're like pink or blue. Um, okay, that they go like in the bottom of a bathtub <laughs> to keep you from slipping when you're in the shower, I guess. Somebody's grandmother had that or mother had those. 
Um, also, or it had like dolphins or fish ones also. <laughs> so cute. Um, I'm also seeing somebody either just got a new puppy or is looking or is getting a puppy um, for like during this week period or maybe got one or is getting some bones for their dog. Maybe you're shopping right now, getting some bones for your dog or dog treats or something, puppy treats, something along those lines. This teddy bear, um, okay, so they just gave me this message. Somebody's, somebody has, there's a child that has a toy and they lost their toy and they said it's over, it's in, okay, they're just showing me, um, they're showing me like a shrub and they're showing me a pool and like a, um, like a backyard. Um, they're saying it's over there. I don't know if it's like a stuffed toy or, um, a little toy or something that a child or a grandchild or somebody or somebody lost something. If you've lost something, it's, it's back there. Or maybe it's your phone <laughs> that has like a, somebody has like a phone that has like a little decorative teddy bear or, or um, maybe a unicorn. It looks like a key ring decoration of some sort that kind of hangs off a phone or maybe it's a phone case or something. It's something. It's, it's like a, it's an item. Okay. And it's over by the shrub, by the, by a pool, like somewhere back there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a pool. So <laughs> I, it's not me you guys I don't know sometimes spirit gives me these images and I see these visions and I'm like where is this coming from but and it's funny because I, I will have never been to a place and I did a reading for someone and when I first started and before I gave her her reading I had to tell her that I had images of um, a man walking on uh, to the corner of a city where there was a produce outdoor kind of produce thing and I was describing the entire image for her and everything that played out in my mind's eye everything that I saw and then she 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 wrote back to me and explained to me that was a place in Seattle um, and it's a famous place and I can't remember what it's called I've never been to Seattle I've never seen the picture but when she wrote back to me and explained it and told me what this the area was I looked it up and lo and behold that was it that was the place and everything that I saw, all the activity, she knew exactly what it was. So ever since then, I'm like, okay, I don't know where I get the visions. I don't know who I'm talking to. I just know that I see them and I'm channeling the images and the visions. And then when I'm putting it out here into the universe, like somebody's, I don't know. And everybody might be like, no, we don't know what you're talking about. So I don't even know who it's for. But with all that being said, that's why I do what I do. I hope that you enjoy this reading. I hope you have a lovely spring break, a lovely Easter if you are celebrating. And I will be back next weekend to follow up with your daily readings again. Um, I will be back on the 23rd of April. If you want to get a personal reading, you can start booking up. I do have some special discounts. You can get a 30 minute phone call reading. Um, $50 off um, till the end of April. So if you're interested in getting a personal reading from me, definitely check that out. Um, uh, yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful holiday and spring break. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, love you guys. Bye.